we've come to the end of the line with money heists so far at least uh because now i have to wait until season five comes out in retrospect i kind of wish i hadn't watched seasons one two three and four and just waited until season five had come out because it's probably going to be the last one uh this is going to be spoilers by the way in some regards i wish i just waited until the fifth season had come out which is probably going to be the last one and then i just binged them all in the space of a month because now i've watched all four seasons so far and I have to wait like 18 months now to watch the final one. And I know in 18, 18 months time, I'm not going to be as hyped for it inherently because I wouldn't have watched it for 18 months unless I rewatched the entire show, which I might do. I might do uh, in that time span, but it does. it's not going to have that same feeling and effect. Like you've had such a concentrated amount of time with all these characters. And now that there's such a big gap between where we are now and where the show's going to actually when the show's gonna actually air it makes it feel a bit like you're gonna not have that same type of reaction and that gut feeling that you do with a lot of the characters but season four and season three i have to give a clap or i have to give a clap because i thought it was just gonna drop off after season one and two had finished i was like season one and two the way it ended i was like that's it that's it that's the show a really good two season show and then it's like oh wait there's three seasons what the hell are they going to do in season three? Someone has to get caught. Someone gets caught. But then there's season four. It's like, wait, what are they going to do in season four? Well, they're going to just rob the bank. But this time they're going to rob the gold from the bank. Last time they, they printed the money at like the Federal Reserve of Spain. This time they're like, yeah, we're going to steal the gold from the Bank of Spain. Sure, I mean, I, I didn't see where they could go. But it's basically the only logical other step. Is to be like, last time we printed all this money... This time, we're going to steal all the gold. Eh, yeah. Yeah, but it does sort of lead to the end point of being like, there cannot actually be another heist after this. This is the last one. Whether, you know, they spread this into somehow uh, four seasons and it runs to season six overall, or whether there's just one more season and that's the end, that's the end of it. There is not going to be another heist in Money Heist because this is it. I can't believe that they're going to be like, nah, 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 now lads, we're going to go do the Federal Reserve. We're going to go do America. Or we're going to do the Bank of England. Like, it's, I can't believe it, all right? And as well, I think it would just go too far with the characters and make it seem too unrealistic. Like, this is unrealistic, but it's believable. If they do another heist now, this is like a no-go. This is like... You took it a bit far and you spread it a bit too thin and the, the shine sort of goes away a little bit. The story, thankfully, is really, really good. And I think the main thing that makes that work is that it's been thought out really well. There aren't really any plot holes, which is a big problem in these types of, um, you know, very intricate shows, specifically to do with timings and when things happened. But the characters are what make it special. It's the interactions and the way they've written everyone to have such dynamic and interesting and unique reactions and interactions with other characters. Because there's not one boring dynamic in the entire show. There's not one. There's a little bit of pizzazz in everyone's uh, interaction with everyone else. And I think that's something that a lot of shows should take notice from because in most cases there are dull characters or there are dull um relationships between people and, and sometimes it just doesn't work but with this show every single relationship is is something special and something that makes you think about what it could mean to other relationships i'll get to the big one which actually got like got the emotions going and got like the feels like tingling i was tingling all over when nairobi died i said spoilers i swear I wasn't expecting it because of the amount of shit she'd been through. She'd almost been killed twice already. And then she actually gets killed the third time. It's a bit ridiculous. I didn't really want it to happen. I appreciate they did it because, again, it shows stakes in the show. But they could have just killed someone else, man. She's got shit to live for. Everyone has shit to live for, I understand. But, like, you could have just killed Tokyo. You could have just killed her. Like, Nairobi is, like... She's, she's like the sweet one she's like the one who everyone likes because she's the best uh apart from when she keeps on talking about matriarchy which is a bit weird other than that like she is like very very 
uh, characteristically noble and kind, and there's a lot of good characteristics to her in relation to a lot of the other members of the group. Just, oh my god, Helsinki's reaction to it as well. Woo! Woo! Damn, and Palermo, you little shit, it was all his fault, basically. He started this whole this whole shenanigans. He made this happen, and I was not, I was not happy about it. I really wasn't. I wasn't. And the stuff Rio's gone through and his relationship now with Denver and, and Monica and Arturito, man. Arturito, you bloody slimy little shit. I don't, I, you know, you knew that he was that type of person, but like he just got confirmed. He's that type of person and I don't like it. He's the type of guy, I see him in the street and I know what he's done. I'm tripping that guy. I might even go further than tripping that guy. But stuff would happen in the street between me and Arturito, you know? Uh, so, again, characterization, very good. Because you have a visceral, repulsive feeling towards him. Uh, the Professor, Le Professor, and Lisbon. Shenanigans going on, alright? In that episode where Lisbon got killed, I was like... Wow, this just got real serious real quick. And then it turned out she wasn't dead. And I found I found that a bit of a cop out when it was all just a play by by the uh Spanish intelligence that they were gonna pretend to kill her. That way the professor would do rash things and it would look bad on them. Um I thought that was a bit cheap. They explained it as the show went on, and I was more okay with it, but at the time it was like shock for shock value's sake. And it and it it didn't really hit me in the same way um, as, as like Nairobi's death overall because Nairobi actually died and Lisbon didn't die and when you found out she didn't die it sort of took away from it but then it's all part of like a plan in some ways but just like I say the intricate storytelling here just makes this show super watchable and it, it if I was on my ones I might have like watched this entire four seasons in the space of like a week because there's 10 episodes a season, basically. So there's about 40 hours of, of television there, right? If there's 40 episodes, an hour an episode, probably 35 to 40 hours. You could bang that out in a week. I'm not the one to bang it out in a week. I like to bang out over like a month, like a month and a half, two months. And I think we watched this over the space of over a month. But if you are that type of binger, you could get this done super quick because it just pulls you in and it makes you just want to sit there and click next and click next and click next and click next. And then Netflix will come up and say, hi, we're worried. Are you still watching? And you'll say, and click next and click next and click next. Because it's, it's just a show that makes you want to watch the next episode. And it's like an episode turner. And you want to see it again because of the cliffhangers every single episode leaves you, leaves you off of, off on. So... The point is, Money Heist, surprisingly good. Wish now I hadn't actually watched it until the show had been fully finished because it's going to come round again. And I don't know. I don't know. I might rewatch the entire show. Realistically, I'll probably rewatch the entire show. There's not that much good television around. Uh, there, do you, there used to be. I think we were in a golden age of television like seven, eight years ago for about five years, up to like 2016. And then it sort of just fell off, 2017. But this is a uh, standout show for me. Definitely stand out. Netflix, good job. I like it. I like it, I like it. If you know, you know. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then I don't know. All right, Le Professor, a professor, will come after you. Remember, he is Chuck Norris with glasses. I mean, I have glasses, but like, let's play, not play. I'm, I'm, I'm not Chuck Norris. I can't do those things. But, uh, yeah. Chuck Norris with glasses, man. Spice. Ultra spice. Super spice. You don't want that. You really don't, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. Now, I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been great. I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it for over two years now. Two years, two years, two years. And we ain't stopping until we get to 10,000 subscribers. So subscribe. That would be really good. That would be helpful. That would be useful. And I would appreciate it. A lot. I would I would really appreciate it. All right. All right. Thank you very much. So I'll see you again tomorrow because I will be here with some more quality shitty content because that's just what we do, guys. That's just what we do. Quality shit every single day. Occasionally shit. Mostly call it mostly quality shit. But occasionally, I have to be fair, is shit. This this video, I'm sort of feeling like super tired, if you can't tell. Um, just no sleep was had. 
So uh, zero sleep. I think I, had not, I actually slept for about two hours, I think. So I'm working off two hours sleep in about 28 hours. So I'm, I'm, got, I'm getting through it. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> never not here. Even with that, never not here. But remember, in the meantime, stay safe, stay inside and subscribe. Stay, stay safe, stay safe. I'm slurring because I'm tired and I'm losing my mind. Stay safe, stay inside. I know it's hard, but this quarantine will be over and we will be able to do shit with our lives, all right? And subscribe, most importantly. But I will be here again tomorrow. We meet tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Skadoosh.